I, I've always speculated more on kind of what became of him. Right. You know, you know, what happened to this guy afterwards? And, and, you know, when we met him, he was a 17 year old kid. Yeah. What, what, what became of him as an adult? What happened? And that's after something he lost. I, yeah. Cause I, I'm, I'm sure, uh, uh, Terry Silver and Kreese were probably pretty pissed that he lost the tournament and all that stuff. Right. So it's like, and it, it, right. it shaped, it literally shaped Cobra Kai in the Valley. It's like, what, what do you think yeah. in your own theory, what do you think happened to him? So I have, I have a couple theories about this. Um, I think one path that he could have taken was he literally became, you know, a worse guy, got in more worse trouble yeah. and, and quite possibly wound up uh, in prison. Yeah. Okay. Another idea that I have, and I, I kind of like this one a lot more because I think it's a lot less obvious, is I think maybe he got in trouble and maybe he was given the choice of either, you know, going to prison or going into the military. Okay. And he went and and – you know, uh, it, it straightened him out, and he he became actually an honorable, good guy or a better man, and uh, you know, um, probably went off and fought in some of the uh, uh, you know the wars in in uh, you know uh, Baghdad, Afghanistan, etc., right. um, and got himself pretty straightened out. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I think that would be interesting is because if you remember, there's there's the dialogue between Terry Silver and Mr. Miyagi where they're talking about how they were both soldiers. Right. And Terry Silver says something to the effect of, you know, John John wasn't always like that. Yeah. And this war does that to a man. And uh, uh, he says, you would have had to have been there. And then Mr. Miyagi replies, you know, have yeah. been, do know. So I, I think it'd be interesting that, that in that sense, Mike would – be the other side of the coin of kind of the same experience that John Kreese went through. And I think it'd be interesting if he came back and he, he wasn't a bad guy. And and his his beef was wasn't with Johnny Lawrence, uh, but it was with uh, and, and it wasn't even with with Ralph with, uh, with you know, Daniel, Daniel yeah. Bruce, but it was with it was with Kreese. Yeah, uh, that would be interesting. And then just for comedic value cool. i think it's funny like he he wound up going to an ashram and he's like <laughs> you know mr beads and puka shells oh and, my god you know, could you imagine? peace love and understanding yeah right sort of he's like just totally you know? flipped the script it, it, the, the, re the reason i think that's funny is you know the guys uh you know josh held and hayden and uh uh you know all the guys that, that uh you know john Hortz, they, they've got such great comedic sensibilities they, they did harold and kumar of course yeah. and you know i, I I, I could also see them creating something like that it being really funny. And then Mike would maybe snap out of it and be like, what the hell? And he sees Crease right, and it's like right. all of a sudden just boom. Right, switches. right. Yeah, because that's true. It's like he's probably a – I don't know if he was a good kid, but like he might have just had some bad influences. And then, you know, Crease and Silver definitely weren't the best influences to have. Right, and also if you look at how Silver took Daniel under his wing – and initially was pretending to be his mentor. Right. Every reason to believe that, you know, Terry Silver, who was an adult and a wealthy and powerful guy, was probably playing, you know, all sorts of manipulative mind games with Mike, too, albeit in a different, you know, with, with a different uh, delivery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. I, I wonder if they're going to put uh, Thomas Ian Griffith in there in, in Cobra Kai. That'd be pretty fun. Um, what was you know the only thing I've, I you know I've, I've communicated um, not frequently but but from time to time with with the producers of the show and you know these guys are just they're real fans yeah. of the whole uh, Karate Kid universe and I know they they have said they'd like to have everybody from uh, the original films you know that's the canon material involved in Cobra Kai I think they just want to do it in a way that is organic and and serves the show so um you never know yeah that'd be pretty sweet do you still keep in touch with mr silver so i don't keep in touch with thomas but i'll tell you a funny story um my wife and i uh have been married seven years and we were having our engagement party and we were having it at this this really nice restaurant in hollywood and they had like a sort of a private banquet room in this restaurant but the restaurant was still open right. and so 
Martin Cove, Marty and I are, are friends, and Martin came to, he was a, a guest at the, uh, the party. Yeah. Well, unbeknownst to me and completely sort of serendipitous, Thomas was having dinner at the restaurant that night. And so no way. he wound up, up to the party and surprising me, and it was really great. And I've got this terrific picture of me and Thomas and Marty and my wife. You got to post and, that on uh, Instagram, man. I, I got to see that. 